I'm midshipman Danny Iris, class of 2015. I'm from Peoria, Illinois. I'm the captain of the rugby team. I'm Bill Rung, class of 70, New York, New York. Spent uh, 34 years with Chevron in Texaco, currently coaching rugby and refereeing. Uh, when we started the rugby club uh, in the spring of 1970, there were no funds for rugby. But we found a way through alumni donations, through the foundation, mm -hmm. uh, to enable us to travel to play teams like Yale and, and certain other schools that otherwise we would not have the opportunity to do. So immediately upon, upon uh, graduating, I remembered the fact that the alumni had contributed to a lot of the positive memories that I had in the academy, and I took the line of thinking that I wanted to do the same thing. I think there's a direct correlation between the events that the rugby team can participate in with the efforts of the Alumni Foundation and the generosity of the alumni. You know, we travel, we have to stay in hotels, every, everything that, like that costs money, and we don't have the ability to make that money. And with the Alumni Foundation reaching out to the alumni, and that connects the bridge between the midshipmen and the alumni, that allows us to be able to play like we have been able to, and keeping the donations coming allows us for that to be secured in the future. Well, in the context of, of remembering uh, the opportunities and the friendships that, that you've had at King's Point, uh, I'm reminded of, of Kennedy's inauguration speech in 1960. And he said something that stayed with us in our, in our society. It's not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. And I've turned that around in my own mind to say, it's not what your academy can do for you, but what you can do for your academy. And that has put me in the mindset of trying to give back in one way or the other, either financially or time or making visits to midshipmen or promoting the academy whenever I possibly can. I think once I graduate and gain financial stability and independence, I would definitely like to give back. I don't think it would be large amounts at first just because I won't have the money, but I don't think there's a donation that's too small. So I think I will start immediately to donate and hopefully as time progresses and you know, my career furthers and make more money that I can give back more. The motto of the academy is something I've never forgotten and I use it a lot when I'm coaching. Acting on word of deeds, not words. And the difficulty I have uh, in visiting with, with a number of alumni is that you get a lot of verba, but maybe not as much active as you would hope for. So I would imagine that in the best interest of, of those persons who would want to donate to the academy, that they think about the actor. It, it's not the, the verba, having a good discussion, but then sitting in front of the television or going out sailing on an afternoon. If you can do something, take an action, whether it's writing a check, investing your time, your concern, mentoring a midshipman, anything that you can do to give back to the academy, that puts the actor ahead of the verba.